cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. I can't lie. That's a banger radio tune. I don't even know who it's by, but when it comes on, it gets me going. Anyways, as you can see, in the whip, craving KFC something fierce. A classic twister. They better extra lettuce and tomato it when I ask because every time I do, they just sprinkle the lightest amount in there. So I'll be keeping a keen eye on these MFers making it hopefully, but also a big crunch sandwich would be dope and also a poutine with ketchup slopped all over it. I don't know when the last time I had KFC was, but the last video I got was the Popeyes and I feel like I've regretted getting the Popeyes. So now I redeem the Popeyes with the KFC. Let's, let's, let's make a little comparison here because I think in my head, I thought Popeyes was better than it is. And I thought KFC wasn't as good as it actually is. If that makes any sense. Okay. Zach Zagir. And like we've been doing lately, come on down for the real thing. Seems as if they upgraded and changed the poutine container. So we'll open that last to conserve the heat, but we got the big crunchy sandwich here. So let's see how a big crunch is looking these days. I haven't had a big crunch in a good long while, but it is the, a very basic natured sandwich. I asked them to add tomato onto it and it looks as if they have done so. Regular amount of lettuce, could use some more, good amount of sauce. So that's looking nice. Now, this thing about twisters at KFC, I they come with almost no lettuce and tomato, even though they're supposed to. I requested extra. Let's see what I got. <laughs> well, that's new. An ice cube in my twister somehow. <laughs> Whatever. But uh, let's see here. Yeah, it looks substantial. They did uh, much more than usual. So we'll wrap this bitch back up. But these tendies are beauty. I do love them. Okay, let's wrap this up. The other thing I will say is I'm pretty sure twisters are supposed to get like a flat top or like a press a grill of some sort so that's a little little strange that that doesn't happen here in this situation and uh of course it's time to deface a poutine kfc poutine usually always banging mm -hmm. the only way to do it I like the canadian flag right <laughs> that's what a poutine supposed to look like canadian flag all right poutine always gets first bite because you want to get it as hot as you possibly can I do say KFC has very nice cheese curds. And of course their gravy. Cannot be contested. They have some of the best gravy. Absolutely hands down in my opinion. And they did not uh, skimp on the gravy on this, which is nice. I do like a, a soupier poutine. Where everything gets drenched and soggy and soft. So you could remove your dentures and still eat one, you know? That type of, type of feeling, type of texture. I'm also glad that I switched the location that I went to. <laughs> There's three KFCs in my city, I think, total, or four, not sure. But I was like, I wanna go for a drive, it's nice, so I'll go to the, the one on the farthest side of town, cause I wanna go by the lake and shit. But it's like the older run down one, and the one I just switched to in, the, in Midtown <laughs> is uh, the newest one. So I went over there, I'm like, I don't even know if I've ever even been there in my life, to be honest with you. And the girl on the till obviously knew. And I tried to just order, because my order was going to be like extra lettuce and tomato, fries as a poutine. And so I tried to do fries as a poutine and she didn't know how to do it and wouldn't ask for help from her manager, but her manager was standing there and could hear me. Being like, no, no, you can like upgrade it to, she's like, if, she was like, it's just the twister and fries. I'm like, yeah, but you can upgrade it in the system to a poutine. And I said this like three or four times and she's like, so what drink do you want? And I was like, 
Well, first, I'd like it to be a poutine. And she's just dumbfounded. But her manager's standing there, and she could hear me. And I, I go, I just was like, this is going to be a nightmare. I'll just go back, because i got to go back home anyways. I'll go back and stop at the Midtown one. So I just walked out. And I was like, I was like, I'll just go to a different one. I said that out loud. And then the manager was like, oh, excuse me. I was just like, no, nah, I'm good. I'll go to the other one. I don't know. I just can't. It's like, it's not her fault. And I, I just, I wish the manager would have just stepped in and been like, this is how you do it. Like train your new employee. Don't leave them stranded. Sitting there like, uh, and then me being like, can I just get what I want? Like, just help your employee, like help your new employee. It's that simple, just help your new employee. So I zipped and I dipped and I went to the Midtown one and so far, and so far, so good. The guy at the window killed it. They've added tomato successfully <laughs> to the Big Crunch, which doesn't usually have tomato on it. And we found ice in the wrap but maybe they have like a, the lettuce on like a bain marie, like a basin of ice to keep it cool. So that's likely what happened, potentially. I'm not sure though. Just ketchup dose. Anyways, I lacked patience. I couldn't deal. I just severed the ties and saved myself a headache. Sometimes you just gotta save yourself the, the drama, you know? All right, let's go in for this big crunch. I personally, that there was a, that new like more home, home style chicken sandwich or whatever. I like that one, but I actually prefer just the classic simplicity of a big crunch, I think. Just about that more nicer piece of chicken, like a regular sized piece of chicken, not so gargantuan. That's what I like. I also didn't realize that KFC only has diced tomatoes. I thought they for sure had regular ones. Guess not. Had to crack the window, it's getting steamy. Another little societal observation. I was just swimming. I went to the pool. Indoor pool. And there's this young couple, probably 17, 18. And they have a child, a new child. Like I'm saying maybe a year, not even like six to eight months old, like something like that with them in the pool. And they have these baby floaty devices. Imagine like the things you put them in so they, they're like suspended in the house and they have wheels and you can roll they roll around and you can like eat in front of off them it's like a disc they kind of have those but for water so the baby's in there floating and suspended but <laughs> i was just like okay this baby is very much a baby and you could barely use this little head was poking out and then they had her off to the side doing her own thing with her toy, floating around alone. And they were playing 
volleyball back and forth with a real volleyball, like a real size volleyball. And in my head the whole time I'm thinking, I'm just like, that ball is gonna ricochet and snap that baby's neck. <laughs> Cause she's off to the side, someone's gonna ricochet, it's gonna bang her noodle and just, you know what I mean? The whole time I was watching, I'm just like, this is, this, pardon me, this seems dangerous. I'm like, is nobody else seeing this? One of the lifeguards, I think, was pretty on edge. She was keeping a tight eye, so I was like, salute the lifeguard. But it just seems so dangerous to have a child, a baby that young in this device, semi unattended, <laughs> in direct range of possible neck snap ricochet. I don't know though. Maybe I'm being a snowflake about it, because I know like I'm sure my parents did dangerous shit with me too back in the day. It just seemed a little off to me, is all I'm saying. Especially when another couple came in like right after them, put their baby in the same one of those things, but they never like took really took their hands away from the the device they were always pretty much hands-on or right there not like not like her floating 10 feet away i don't know if you can see behind me but it might be in the shot but i'm i'm in i am in a marshall's parking lot i'm in the mall parking lot ksc's on the other side of the road and the sun was just blistering but anyways let's investigate this uh twister a little bit the one thing i meant to say is that What would be better on the Big Crunch is the Twister Mayo. That's what makes the Twister so good, is the pepper mayo. It's a simple, sad excuse for a wrap, but... <laughs> I think that's what kind of makes it good. It's just that it's so simple. And the pepper mayo. But I do have to say, after having had the Popeyes and eating KFC chicken, KFC is 11 herbs and spices. Does It's better than Popeyes. I didn't usually think so. When I first tried Popeyes, I got like taken over by maybe the newness of it. But as things have unfolded in my life, <laughs> relative to KFC and Popeyes, I will say KFC's seasoning. It's just better. It's juicy and leaking. That's good to you. That's that saucy pocket. Okay, one more bite and I think I'm done with this. I'm very full all of a sudden, like. I thought I was hungrier. Turns out I'm not. Anyways, more uh, neurotic 
observations for the day, but really that baby thing freaked me out. That's all I'm gonna say. And end that and now here, I don't know, maybe it's no big deal, <laughs> but it really did freak me out. I will say, I was even keeping a tight eye for the baby <laughs> when I was chilling. So, you know, I don't know. Overprotective maybe, not sure. Anyways, eat good, live well. Stay true, till the next one, goodbye.